Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how I grade quizzes in Google Forms when I'm not using Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my Google Form. Somebody asked me this question just last week, and so I thought I'd make this video here. Here's exactly how I do it. I have my demo form here, and it's easy if you're using multiple choice questions. Just let Google Forms do all the grading for you with your standard answer key. It's not, however, quite so straightforward if you're asking questions like this one, which is define the term human geography. And so that's a question that's not going to be answered with one word, and your students are going to have a lot of different ways of answering that. So it's not quite an essay question, but it's not a short answer question. It's somewhere in between, and you're going to have to grade that manually. So you can see here, I have my responses, and you could go through and grade them individually this way and override the scores in here and add in individual feedback. You can do that. But if you have 30 questions to go through or 30 students to go through or 100 students to go through, which is what I've had in the past, that can be a little bit tedious to do it by tabbing through each one of these students. So instead, what I'll do is create a new Google Sheet. I'm just going to click on that Google Sheets icon, create a new Google spreadsheet. And now I'll have my responses here. And I can go through and look at this column here, which has the prompt of define the term human geography. And I'm going to put in some scores here. Now, Sam here just wrote IDK. I don't know. So Sam's not going to get any more points. Uh, Jeff at least attempted this, so I might give Jeff maybe an extra point and say six out of 10. And maybe Bob is really close, so I'll give him nine out of 10. And Tim, well, he tried it, so I'll give him at least six out of 10 as well. Now, of course, I'm going to have to enter these scores into my gradebook. So if you're using a gradebook other than the one from Google Classroom, you'll want to now add those scores into your gradebook. So that's how I grade questions in Google Forms quizzes when I'm not using Google Classroom. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.